Hello, my name is Marcus. My group Kevin and Wonjun will tell you all about beef. We will aware you of the type of meat you are eating and if it is safe or not. 2,000 cows are being killed every day. That's 14,000 cows a week. Cows are taken from family farms and to the factory farms. The cows are taken into slaughterhouses and are put in calm places. The cows are also being treated badly and they are being fed antibiotics and food which is not for the cows. The tension here is between factory farms and family farms. Since the cows are being taken from the family farms, there are very, very few family farms now. The wrong side is growing, and instead of the family farms growing, the factory farms are. And also the family farms are going out of business. Before, a normal cow in a family farm or just roaming around would take up to four to six years to mature. But now, since the factory farms are feeding the cows antibiotics, the cows mature in 14 to 16 months, which is really bad for the cows. When the animals are made into burgers or some kind of other meat product, about 2,000 pieces of meat are mixed into to make the one piece of burger. So since the cows are being fed lots of antibiotics, each bite of burger you eat has 100 different types of antibiotics and they're also flushed into your body. And just so you know, there's also a little serving of manure in it. The tensions here are between the factory and the workers. Since meat packing is one of the most dangerous jobs in U.S., the workers are not cutting only the meat but themselves too. Because since there is so much profit, the product lines moves really fast and so that's why they cut themselves. The average fast food meat is shipped 1,500 miles, food for the carbon footprint. Uh, the truck to bring the burger. It's 350 to 800 grams of carbon dioxide per burger for the diesel. For gas, it's 416 to 1340 grams of carbon dioxide. One of the signs of that is on us. Since there's a vastly increasing amount of teenagers storing the fast food shops and are being paid very little, they are being very careless in dropping the burgers on the floor and are picking it right up again and putting it into our buns. And we are eating it and everything that is on the floor, we are eating it. And we are getting sick of Tensions that. here are between the shop or the fast food and the workers. Since the workers are not being paid a lot, the workers are being careless. And some workers are not getting paid rightly for the hard work that they do. The average Americans eat 61 pounds of beef unusually, out of the average of 195 pounds of total meat consumed, which is about 3 ounces every day out of 8.5 daily total meat ounces. A company called USDA calculates that of 60% of beef eaten is purchased outside of house and cooked somewhere else. The science intact for the consumption starts all the way back in the production and extraction. Since the cows are being fed a constant dose of antibiotics, the sickness gets used to it and becomes super bacteria. And so when we eat the meat, the super bacteria passes on to us. So if we eat if we get sick and drink antibiotics, the, the it wouldn't help us. The tensions here are between us and the factory farms. Because since they are feeding cows an overdose of antibiotics, the bacteria gets immune and it, and they become super bacteria. And if we get sick and it doesn't work on us, what will we do? We have to blame it on the factory farm because they are spreading the sickness and killing us. The factory farms are one of the leading causes to water pollution. In the agriculture, storing of poop is causing pollution for 48 of stream and river water and 41 for the lake water. In the, in the industrial farms, they have tanks which hold poop, called lagoons, and one lagoon can hold up to millions of gallons of poop. But sometimes it leaks over and, it, and the poop flows into the waters. The science impact is on the communities and the animals. The storage of poop is not only causing water pollution, it's also causing air pollution, and it's also killing wildlife. And because of this, communities which are poor have to move, and they don't have any food, so they're also dying. The tensions is between communities and the factory farms. Since the storage of poop is killing the animals in communities and forced to move from their original place and also because of the pollution of the air and water. The people and little kids are dying. Consequences are that the family farms are going to reduce and there will be more factory farms. And that will reduce the choice of us going to organic beef and buy from family farms.
We think that you should not give any chance for the factory farm to take over. Because even if you want to change and buy f uh, f meat from family farms and dairy products from family farms, we can't. Because we wouldn't be able to, to buy it from family farms because the factory farms will be taken over. The other way would work if all the people would buy organic stuff. We are not telling you not to buy and eat meat, but then we can always buy meat from family farms, not factory farms. These are our sources for the information we found. If you want to check more info, you can go back to these sites. These are our credits for our photos. Thanks for watching and listening to this Pecha Kucha presentation.